there comes a point in your life when you realize who truly matters, who never did, and who always will. This quote by an unknown author truly speaks to me because there's one person that will always matter. Her name is Prairie Tong Muzik, and she was no doubt my best friend. We first became friends in the lunchroom, my sophomore and her senior year, by me complimenting her pink pants. We didn't see each other for a couple of days after our first encounter, but when we did, it was as if there was no time gap between us. Our friendship grew when we started to teach each other about our different cultures. With her being from Thailand, I was just as eager to learn about her culture as she was mine. I learned that if you are a student in Thailand, you cannot have your hair past your shoulders, you must wear school uniforms, and no nail polish or makeup can be on during school. I taught her various things like the different sports we had in America, what a taco was, and the awesome films of Disney like The Lion King. During the spring, we both tried out for soccer and made the JV team. Although I hated to run, I stayed for Prairie, and we soon found joy in playing in an activity together and got to see each other every day. We were always partners in practice drills, ran side by side each other each time we had to do laps. We found other people among our team, and soon we had a group. The soccer banquet was a celebration for Prairie and me because we had overcome the obstacles of the difficulties in soccer, which bound us even tighter. We finished our season with a strong bond of close friends, and it stayed that way. After soccer ended, we hung out almost every weekend, and we always found new things to do. She's a part of my family, even taking a loving to Brooke and Tara, who are many years younger and immature than Prairie, and everyone loved her. Although we were completely different on the outside, we were one and the same on the inside. April 30, 2011 was a magical night for us because that was the year Prairie and our soccer group got to go to prom together. Hours before the prom, we got ready at my mom's shop, getting our hair done in gorgeous styles and our makeup done in unique ways. We were finally ready and drove to Jessica's, and after countless pictures, our group got on the party bus and we were off to prom. That night was full of laughter, fun, and memories that would last me a lifetime. All good things must come to an end in life, unfortunately, and the hardest thing that's happened to me was saying goodbye to Prairie. She was a foreign exchange student and had to go home. We spent her last night in America together and gave each other small presents to remember us by. I gave her a packet of small letters and pictures of our adventures together, and I got a hairpin from Thailand and a small wallet for carrying change. To this day, we still talk, despite the fact that I am in high school and she is in college, and the 12-hour time difference between us. Our friendship hasn't changed, and we are still as close as ever, and that is a lesson and life-changing moment that has happened to me. You can overcome anything if the reason is strong enough. I never lost my friendship with Prairie because she's too important to me. I found out, no matter how far, no matter how our friendship starts, or even how short our friendship is, a true friend will always be with you forever.